Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're on to the first part of the content for the Teach to Fish Firepower series. And in this case, we're gonna start off with purchasing. Now I'm gonna kind of hopefully seamlessly flip between multiple media here to help teach you guys or help express what I'm trying to uh, a little more seamlessly. So I'm gonna be using a mix of PowerPoint, live video, and live demonstration with a website. Uh, hopefully this goes well, we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is the Firewall Teach to Fish. Uh, in this segment, the first day segment, or first playlist, will be focused on initial engineering, architecture design, and implementation. So all the things you need to consider when you are engineering a fresh new solution. This is not maintaining or using the product really other than initial configuration. So purchasing, there's really two kind of relationships that exist. One is if you're a large customer, you have a direct relationship with Cisco, which means you talk directly to a bunch of TSAs or technical solutions um, architects like me or CSSs, which are the cybersecurity specialists. Uh, if it's firepower in each domain, there's other people who help you on Cisco side and account managers. Uh, and HTOMs, and we'll go into who those are later, but right now we're focusing on purchasing. So if you're a large customer, direct relationship. If you're a medium customer or small customer, then you typically work through what we call partners or resellers. So you talk to them and their engineers will help you build and craft the designs that you need. So if you are not a direct large relationship customer, then you want to figure out, well, how do you find out who a partner is? I'm a small Joe Schmo out there and I want to get some Cisco products. The first thing you want to do is go to Cisco's website and then click on partner and find a partner. Now I've got a little screenshot here just to make it easy to, and to find it, but I want to go through kind of the motions of finding this live. Whenever you're out there trying to do this stuff, things will change over time and you need to be able to know how to fish yourself and find these things. So I go to Cisco.com. I look for the partners link and then click on it and say find a Cisco partner. Now there's many partners out there and there's some nuances to them. Some have special certifications which if you read on the website indicate that they specialize in certain things or they know certain things well. So I'm going to put my address in here, current location, whatever. Six five. Okay, uh, if I could read I would use my location and not a zip code. I'm just gonna say any technology, whatever, just a Cisco partner. Now, when this comes up, I said I was in Herndon, which is this area here, and there's a bunch of direct partners around here, Worldwide Technology, Inside Direct, Orange Business, and each of these, if you notice under the name, has a certain list of acronyms below it. Gold, Global Gold, Master Specialized, Customer Experience Specialized. If you click on these or you Google them, you'll find out that they mean things like gold they do a certain amount of business every year with cisco they have ccies on staff master specialized means they've taken a deep dive in certain technologies whether it's collaboration or route switch or firepower or customer experience specialized where they've been recognized for their ability to provide support and or on-site uh, engineering with the customers anyways i'm not going to go and do a super deep dive remember this is just a general familiarization so here it is, you can find your partners, you can see relatively how physically close they are, if that is important to you, uh, and then you can reach out and contact them, either via email by clicking on a profile or a phone number by calling them. So that's it, that's how you find your partners. So let's go back to the order experience. So let's say you've built your relationship with Cisco and you understand that. You're working through a partner or you're working directly, the first thing you're going to do is generate what's called a bill of materials. And this is just a list of the items you need. Think of uh, it as a list of PIDs or product identifiers. That is how they're identified on our catalog when you order stuff. So you're going to say, hey, partner, I want device A, B, and C. And you send it off to them and they turn around, they look at everything, and they create an estimate, a quote on how much it's going to cost for you to buy the stuff through them or directly through Cisco. That estimate is going to be returned to you and they're going to ask you yay or nay. And based on your answer, if you say yes, they'll generate an official contract, a sales order that goes out to you and then that your procurement office then submits. Now, after that, there's a whole lot of stuff that might happen internally to Cisco and to you guys and we're not going to go in there. After you've got the sales order in, you're eventually going to get some boxes at your doorstep and what you do after that is more of the engineering stuff later on and we're going to chat about that. 
So that's it. That's a quick and rough overview of your point of con or your purchasing process so that you understand it. Uh, we'll get into some more here later. Point of context is next.